face masks, everything you need. We've got boots and everything. We're online at dstouterwear.com. You can check us out. And, and you designed some of this stuff? I helped design it, yes. Um, the owner, she has um, had a snowmobile line for over eight years. She knows fabric, zippers, waterproofing, everything. Um, when I came on board, she lets me give my two cents, and um, our team helps design. So it's a lot of avid women hunters who have been um, in the outdoors and in the industry for a long time who are putting um, all of their opinions into this gear. So it's got all the bells and whistles and everything we've needed for a long time. One of our um, really great features is um, all of our pants have an adjustable inseam. So what you do, if you're a little shorter, you have the option to zip it, to snap it up either an inch or it comes up to about three inches. And then you just snap it, fold it over, and it can adjust for any length, which is really great. We get a lot of tall people, short people. We can adjust to any size. We go from extra small all the way to 5X, so we can fit any size. And what are some of the ways you think that women's apparel needs to differ from just regular From honey? men's? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, we have features that men do not have. And so, you know, I first got into hunting wearing the men's mediums. They're big, they're bulky, they're saggy, whatever. This fits the women's curve. When we bring in extra small models, we fit to the extra small body. We bring in 3X, 4X, 5X models and fit to them. We don't just widen out the material. So we make sure that the features that a woman has adjustable uh, velcro you can tighten them let them out depending on if you're wearing base layers underneath we always give at least one to two inches of adjust adjustment with our pants and our jackets so how do, how do you think women's hunting is like do you think evolving yeah i think that being a woman in the outdoors um i started hunting about 11 years ago and i was the only woman that i knew of that hunted and now um thanks to social media and and there's a whole world my husband and going with the ladies and these girls they're shooting bows and rocking their guns and we're just all over the place duck hunting deer hunting turkey hunting whatever and it's just like this huge sisterhood of empowerment and support system and i love it it's just it's just growing so much and um, i think it's really good for our next generation too just to bring in the younger kids and teach them i'm actually going to gonna go on a iowa turkey hunt wow. and i've got three 10 year old girls that i'm guiding out there and it's i'm just so excited i'm, I'm more turkeys and get myself a turkey so it's just you know we just want to be encouraging to the next generation all women of, of all ages all sizes doesn't matter get out there hunt and enjoy the outdoors one last question I'm yeah. just wondering like do you like I was thinking about it and I was thinking about how much patience women have compared to men and do you think that's an do you think that's an advantage for a woman hunter in comparison to just your, your average male hunter do you think a woman is more patient in the stand waiting for um, I think women are definitely engineered differently. I've noticed that women um, shoot better because they're not all up in their head. Um, I do long range classes, archery classes, and women are spot on almost every time compared to the men. Um, I think men overthink things. They, they don't want to be told what to do, and women actually like to be taught, and they, they listen to what they're being told, and they take that, you know, like my husband and I teach fly lessons. It's the same thing. The guys don't want you to tell them what to do, and the women are like, teach me, teach me. So I don't know. It's just my opinion that that's how women are, and they um, they just take to things better, I guess. I don't know. Let's ask Mike. Mike, what? So check this out. She mentions a really good point, right? You have a daughter that's taught. You have a father-in-law who you hunt with a lot. Yeah. And he says, she, what's your name? Rochelle. Rochelle says that women want to learn more, and guys more, they don't want people to tell them what to do. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh, absolutely, 100. <laughs> percent Even though, you know, excluding myself, because when I got into hunting, my family didn't hunt. I got into things with my father-in-law. So by him, I mean I had to. I mean I had the military background and stuff like that, so like the scent and the smell and the stink of the woods. But when it came to actually developing the patience to sit there for hours at a time, so yeah, there women are better hunters. 100%. Oh, I I sit all day, every yeah. day. My husband will sit till 10. Yep. And he'll come out, and then he'll go back in if he goes back in. I will sit all day, no problem. Would you get
Taylor. I outsit all the boys. She does. <laughs> Especially this weekend. <laughs> my little brother and my little cousin, they came out at like 8.30 saying, we're done. 